We're currently in Ararat, and Ararat is uh, roughly about an hour from Ballarat, so it's on the way towards Adelaide. Um, we're on the remainder of my dad's farm. Uh, my father's people originally came from Ireland uh, in 1862, and they've been farming this same area since that time. When I was a young boy, I used to look through the World Book Encyclopedia and read about you know, different countries, and it was always my goal to, to see the world. I uh, travelled all, all around Asia and then I went to Central America. My dream was to, to film and see the whole world. Today we've all taken turns at steering and sleeping um, for what will be a big night. I was very lucky to start making money from online video, from ad revenue. And um, in July 2011, I set out uh, for what ended up being 21 months overseas. And in the process, I met other digital nomads, people who were making money online, um, who weren't tied to any one workplace, one location, and who could live and, and chose to live in places that, in a lot of cases, were cheaper than their home countries. And, uh, you know, to have a lot more freedom uh, to travel and, and, and live that traveling dream. And I met Alex, who's practicing his English, so tomorrow we're gonna, I'm going to do a video with uh, Alex. And today I'm going to come and see Yamalet's house. So, Nina Del Rio? No! That's, that's what I love, when I find people who've never been in front of a camera before, who are sometimes struggling with English, but they've got that passion there to want to share their country, their culture, and um, show people, you know, that the world isn't all bad and doom and gloom, and not everyone's the, Amer the enemy of America. I really had to find a way where I could do things pretty much live and pretty much with very little editing. So I got it down to where I could maybe do a story in an hour, film for an hour, edit for an hour, and then depending on what country I'm in, upload for six hours. Just want to show you some of the gear that I travelled the world with. This camera is a great HD quality camera, broadcast quality, very light, about a kilo when it's not fully loaded. Um, I can turn it like this and just hold it out like that and actually talk to the camera. I'm currently in Hong Kong. I've been traveling for eight months now. I travel solo. I lug all my own gear. What I've found is if there's a face in the image, the footage looks steady. So I can be walking along with the camera like this and it steadies up the footage. I'm embarrassed about as a, a seasoned traveler, but it taught me a lot of lessons. If I was to turn it that way and do the same thing, it looks wobbly. People focus on a face. Really fascinating. So I remember doing a video of a, a beach in Bali where you can go at sunset, you sit on the beach and you have a lovely seafood meal and you see the sunset. A, a beautiful setting and I was there by myself making a video on it and I remember saying in this video, if you come to this place, don't do what I've done. Don't come here alone. Come here with family, come here with friends, come here with a significant other. Um, and that sort of made me realise that, you know, that old saying, uh, an experience shared is an experience doubled. A lot of the experiences of travelling are wonderful, but it's always about the people you meet, the people you share those experiences with. When you have an addiction, it, it can affect different parts of your life too. And I know I've also made sacrifices because of this addiction. I'm always thinking of keeping things free. I don't like making commitments. Um, and of course, for relationships, long-term relationships, that can be a major problem. It, you know, it's, it, addictions are great, but they can also have some, some side effects too. And, and I mean, that's probably the big one for me is um, as I get older, I realise that, uh, you know, I, I had opportunities to do the, the nine to five, the house of the kids and family. And, and in, in a lot of cases, I forsake that to continue this passion. 